Like all societies before and after, the ancient Egyptians experimented with uh, medicines. Since synthetic drugs were in the distant future, they had to rely on natural remedies. Lettuce, because of its oily secretion that resembled semen, was used as a treatment for erectile dysfunction. The vegetable was commonly used as an offering to the fertility god Min, whose portrayal showed him to be very well endowed. While neither crocodile fat or lettuce were effective for the treatments claimed, the use of castor oil as a laxative, as described in the Ebers Papyrus, compiled around 1500 BCE, was. The castor plant grows pods that house the seeds, which are mistakenly referred to as beans. The seeds can be crushed to express an oil that contains ricinoleic acid, a chemical that can cause smooth muscle cells in the intestinal wall to contract and expel the stool. Castor oil is still sometimes prescribed today as a laxative. The oil has other applications as well. It is an excellent lubricant for machines. It is used in the formulation of oil paints, as well as in facial creams, where it improves texture and also helps retain moisture in the skin. Cleopatra supposedly used the oil to enhance her legendary beauty. Castor oil also can make hair look more luxurious and is even said to enhance growth, although without any evidence. Unfortunately, the beans and pods also have a dark side. They harbor one of the most toxic substances known, a protein called ricin. This was first isolated as a white crystalline substance in 1888 from the remnants of the pods after the beans are removed. Ricin rose to fame in 1978 when Bulgarian dissident Georgi Markov, who had been a vocal critic of the Soviet regime, was assassinated in London in an operation by the KGB and the Bulgarian secret police. While waiting at a bus stop near Waterloo Station in London, Markov felt a pinprick in his leg. He turned around to see a man pick up an umbrella he had apparently dropped. That night, Markov developed a fever and within four days, he was dead. Doctors discovered a tiny ball with traces of ricin embedded in Markov's leg. Apparently, it had been propelled by a spring-loaded mechanism hidden in an umbrella. Uh, today, there's even a statue to Georgi Markov in Sofia, Bulgaria's capital. This, of course, after the Soviet Union was dissolved. The Markov episode whetted appetite for the use of ricin as a murder weapon, and there have been a number of cases of envelopes filled with white powder being sent to politicians and to the Pentagon. Some actually did test positive for ricin, but there were no injuries. Ricin can indeed kill if inhaled. Lethal dose for an adult is less than half a milligram. The castor bean plant is a very attractive plant but a deadly poison lurks in its pods, and it's natural. That for today is our Cup of Joe.